All right, guys, real quick, I got to raise my voltage back up and figure out a quick video of it because I'm going to add one and then two diodes. I'm going to show you the difference on the, on the voltage going up for one diode, two diode. You know what I'm saying? So right now, my charge wire on my alternators is off, so we're going to see 14, whatever the cold temperature is, and then we'll start it and we'll go from there. I'll show you. You'll see it in real time here. This is engine off. You can see it's 42 degrees outside. The truck is first time being started. We're sitting at 14.4. I'm gonna start the truck. It ain't gonna charge until I put the diodes on. We're gonna do one and then two. Watch that meter right there. You can see we're at 14.3 still. I'm gonna put one diode in. A couple seconds later, I'm gonna put two diodes in. Watch this. That's one diode. You can see that's two diode. I'll let this grow a little bit. You can watch this climb. It's taking a minute to hit its max output voltage because i don't even see this is that back in long we're at 14.9 so you can see that back in long yeah can you see it? yeah this back in long front alternator so we gotta you can see but you can see what one diode and two diode does i'll let that sit here and idle but without saying anything smart three twin smart base So as you see, I get my twin smart base 8Ks back in here, bump my voltage back up. We'll check back this in a minute. You can see it's 15.6 and we're at 15 volts. So you guys, I don't gotta explain, you guys know what's going on. So these was set at 114 BAC each at 1.3 ohm. They're still at 1.3 ohm only. This time, I set them at 125 BAC each. So, even though I got the same power plant back in here, BAC is up, and uh, I'm getting, like I told you, I'm getting a, a third smart base K that's gonna go over on that wall over there. So, that's where my third amp's going. I'm just gonna crawl in here, rewire the subs, and keep them how they are, and the two front subs are just out the side of that wall, straight into that amp, and ain't shit to run more cables back here, so. It ain't gonna be long. I'm gonna have three smart base 8Ks in here. I'm gonna stick to my dues. Don't let me change my mind, guys. Come on now. Anyways, you see it. Yes, everything, the whole everything needs painted. Maybe they'll do, maybe there'll be a spring event. We'll get we'll we'll set the audio to the side and get this thing looking good for the summer. But you see where I'm at. I want to get you all update real quick. You can see the voltage is uh 15.7. Yin long starting to come up. You can see it's 10.30. I'll check back in five minutes and show you this voltage, maybe three minutes. I just wanna show you that this cold start, this truck usually charges around 16. So check back in one second. All right, been four minutes. Uh, it's not, not that cold of a day. You can see, well, it was, it's like 40 something degrees outside. My engine's already up to 130, almost about 140 degrees. So on really cold days, dude, this voltage is 16, 16, two, and it simmers back down to like 15, eight, real hot days, like 15, five. But I just wanted to demonstrate to you real quick. You see my yen long is at 15, five, it's at 15, eight. So by the time that, that back battery catches up to the actual voltage of the truck, it, it'll hover right around 15, eight ish on days like today on, on this time of year. But yeah, keep this short. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. So today's Sunday, uh, start of a work week tomorrow so uh if i can't get a video today because of the weather i do apologize but just know them 8ks are back in here and they're up at 125 eac each when they was at 114 so if you remember my other videos just know that they might be back in here but they're they're up more so with that said uh have a good week